Good evening. The news for this uh, Thursday, 2nd uh, of February. The government has uh, announced uh, that the National Council for HIV AIDS is to be abolished. The Council of Ministers discussed and approved the decision at its weekly meeting yesterday. The Vice President, Ahmed Afif, and the Deputy Cabinet Secretary, Margaret Mumu, have today briefed the media on the decision and other issues discussed at yesterday's meeting. Vice President Afif noted that HIV AIDS remains a major health issue. The task of the former National Council will now be taken up by other agencies in the Ministry of Health. Vice President Afif said the idea is to better manage the Ministry's resources. President Wevel Ramkalawan and his ministers have also been discussing the recently published Mo Ibrahim Index. According to the Mo Ibrahim Foundation, Seychelles is now class number two out of 54 African countries on good governance. During the Council of Ministers meeting yesterday, the president commended all ministers and their teams for the effort and hard work put into achieving such good results. He confirmed that the result is a good indication that Seychelles is improving in its uh, standards and performance. Seychelles scored 73.4 out of a possible 100 points in respect of overall uh, governance. In other decisions at its uh, meeting yesterday, the Council of Ministers approved a new agreement with the European Union. This will allow Seychelles flagged vessels to fish in French territorial waters of Mayotte. An agreement between the two countries was needed to avoid illegal and unregulated fishing. The fishing opportunities granted under this agreement will be for a maximum of eight tuna per seiners. Ambassador Jean-Claude Adrienne paid a visit on President Wevel Ramkalawan this afternoon. Ambassador Adrienne recently retired after heading the Seychelles Embassy in Abu Dhabi for the past six years. His retirement comes after 44 years of service to the Republic of Seychelles, of which 42 years were in the diplomatic service. He declined to give an interview after his visit. The new High Commissioner for Seychelles in New Delhi, India, Lalatiana Akush, also called on the President. She was a Seychelles ambassador to Cuba for four years and says the Indian posting is a new challenge for her. She is expected to leave the country next week. The Ministry of Health has detected uh, about 12 more cases of uh, syphilis and this rise in cases has been described as alarming by the Public Health Commissioner. During a press conference held this morning, the Public Health Commissioner, Dr. Jude Gédéon, and the doctor in charge of the CDCU, Louis Morel, said that they are putting in place rapid tests as a new strategy to help in combating the infection and are encouraging the public to come forward to get, get tested and treatment. So it is very important for you to, if you suspect that you may have been exposed before, you've had a, a sore that got better on its own, but you suspect it could have been syphilis, come forward. You'll be tested and receive treatment. We are asking the public to help us to prevent the surge from getting any worse. And this is, can be done through practice safer sex. Um, that's by having one partner and using condom when you uh, having sex with a partner that is not a regular partner and uh, we will be are trying to reach out to them in our plan to see how we can share preventive measures and preventive strategies uh, with them. If you have been, uh, if you have received treatment at one of the facility, the healthcare worker will ask you about your contacts. It's for no other reason that, than to offer testing and treatment for that person and whoever he or she may have been in contact with as well. So contact tracing depends a lot on us, but a lot also on the individual. As of this month, all boats less than 10 meters in length operating in Seychelles waters will have to be identified by the Seychelles Maritime Safety Authority. This follows new regulations concerning maritime security and fees, which have come into force. 
Operators of all private and commercial vessels have six months to act upon identifying their boats, where they will be given an in the identification number. They will then be issued with an identification safety certificate and a certificate of competency. The SMSA is also now administering all maritime licenses and fees previously under the licensing authority. The authority felt the need to introduce uh, those uh, legislations taking into account the lack of safety of uh, vessels operating within the Seychelles waters um, uh, as well as the need to have a little bit more control in place and to have a database in place for those vessels operating. Um, uh, in terms of the fees, uh, the revision of fees that is, there was taking in mind that uh, the change in economic climate from when the fees was um, administered in 1995, some laws date back actually to 1973, um, uh, we felt that uh, it was no longer reflecting the actual um, economic climate uh, currently. So we have uh, made a revision in the fees as well. The Danny Four Foundation, DFF, has signed a partnership agreement with the Fisheries Transparency Initiative, FITI. The DFF has said in a press uh, con release uh, that this is part of a shared vision to promote sustainable marine fisheries in the Indian Ocean through transparency and collective uh, action. Under the agreement, the two organizations will collaborate to enhance public knowledge and informed debates among stakeholders in Seychelles. According to the DFF, uh, it will also promote uh, the FITI as a tool for improving transparency and multi-stakeholder participation in fisheries within the Western Indian Ocean region. And with this, we end uh, the news uh, summary. Uh, we'll be back uh, at 8 with the uh, news in Creole. Have a very pleasant evening.